One of my favorite sayings is, if you want what they have, then you gotta do what they do. What is up everybody? This is Chris from The Rewired Soul where we talk about the problem but focus on the solution. And if you're new to my channel, my channel is all about mental health and what I like to do is pull different topics from the YouTube community to try to teach you how to improve your mental and emotional well-being. So if you're into that stuff, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell. And I actually just finished live streaming. I was playing some Fortnite and then we watched a video together. I love it. I love hanging out with all of you. You're all just awesome and amazing and you make me feel so so, uh, warm and fuzzy inside. So, yeah, make sure you have notifications on because I'm going to try to get back in the habit of doing it more often. Like, somebody left a comment. I'm like, yeah, why aren't I live streaming? Like, I'm just hanging out playing video games. Might as well turn on the camera. But anyways, and don't forget, this Saturday, charity live stream, 12, uh, 10 a.m. Pacific time. I forgot to say that in the last video. Anyways, anyways, I wanted to kind of shift gears a little bit and maybe it's because of my own negative bias you know a lot of a lot of videos i do are like here's what not to do right and you know i want to i wanted to make this video about why everybody loves you know jenna and julian and and kind of you know do that right and for those of you who haven't you know figured it out yet like everything everything can be a learning tool to improve our mental health and that's why I pull so many examples for all of you. Like when I was trying to improve my mental health, what, what I would do, like I, I analyze people. I don't know if you figured that out yet, but like just, I would always, and I still always just look at people. I'm like, okay, what are they doing? What are they doing? Is this person happy? Are they happy or are they not? Are they stressed or, or, or are they like, you know, pretty chill? Like what's going on, you know? And I, I find people and if, if it doesn't seem like they're that happy, I'm like, okay, I need to do the opposite of that. But like I said in the intro, if you want what they have, you gotta do what they do. I have to find people who are what I aspire to be, right? Like, do they have happiness? Like, so the first thing I'll say before jumping into these different topics from the Jenna and Julian thing is like, find out what values you would like to have, all right? Or what characteristics you would like to have, all right? Figure that out. What do you want in your life, all right? So usually when I ask people this, a lot of people are like, oh, you know, do I want, you know, I want I want money, I want a house, I want this, you know? For me, it's, it's not like that. Like when I first got sober six and a half years ago, it was the bare minimum. I wanted peace, serenity, sanity. That was it. I didn't need money, I didn't need a house, I didn't even need a car. I just wanted this thing to calm down, right? But like I mentioned the other day, is that we have to ask ourselves like, what are we willing to struggle for? Actually, I think I said that in the Patreon video. So all of you patrons, you got to see it. Anyways, but like, it's not so much what do we want, what are we willing to put in the effort towards? What are we willing to struggle for? That's actually something that came from that book, uh, The Obstacle is the Way that I read. So anyways, I've been putting up some polls up on my community tab to get you guys involved and you know, see, you know, how I can make more content that caters to you and all of that. So I put one up about Shane Dawson. I'm probably gonna do that video sometime soon. But um, I asked about Jenna and Julian, right? And from the time of recording this, there was like, I think 1.8 thousand votes. The Shane Dawson one has 8.1 thousand, but I posted that one yesterday, I believe. But anyways, I went through all your comments to see why you loved them or whatever. And I found a few different categories that I wanted to kind of focus on. So one of them, one of them that I saw was people really admire like Jenna's work ethic or even Julian's work ethic, right? Not only that, but their willingness to grow and all of those things. And I think that's important. Like YouTubers, we're putting our lives out there, right? And even if it's not through YouTube, like, like I'm not a vlogger or anything, but you know, I have social media and all these things. And like, one of the best qualities that I look for somebody is somebody's ability to grow. Because this means that they're trying to humble themselves. They believe that they're not perfect. You know, they're trying to look for, you know, ways to grow. Like even me personally, like I am constantly trying to stay in, in a, a place where I'm like, I don't know any, like everything. Sometimes I feel like I don't know anything, but I do not know everything, right? The second we think that we know everything when there's no more room to grow, then we're stuck and nobody wants to be stagnant. You know what I mean? So we look at that and Jenna Marbles, um, 
and Julian Sol Sol Solomita. I think that's how you say his last name. Um, Tristan recently got me into them, but I've done some research on them in the past and things like that. And like, I remember there was something to do with like a fish that passed away. And a lot of people said, Chris, you need to watch this. Like this is like a perfect apology, but she like learned from it and grew and all of those things. But just as a YouTuber and a creator and as a person, right? So look at that. I would say the, the, the aspect you should be looking for is if you want, you know, the happiness and things like that, that people like Jenna and Julian have, like look at your own life and realize that you're not perfect. You're never going to be perfect. But, but I believe the key is to have the willingness to keep growing, right? To keep growing, to keep learning and stuff. Like I am not the best YouTuber. I might never be the best YouTuber, but with every situation, I'm trying to look at it, break it down and saying, what can I learn from this situation? All right. On the, hand, on the other hand, with her strong work ethic and willing to grow, because like she has like a degree. I think somebody said she has a degree in sports psychology and all that. But it was also brought up that she finds like a work-life balance too. Like she takes time off during the holidays. I was like, Yo, Tristan, where are these Jenna and Julian videos? And she's like, Oh, they take time off during the during <laughs> during the holidays. I don't know why I made her voice sound like that. It doesn't sound like that. But yeah, that's something that I'm trying to do too. I know from outward appearances, a lot of you believe that I work too much or too hard or whatever, but trust, I have some amazing balance. I play a lot of video games. My son and I went and saw two movies together this weekend. Tristan and I, we binged watched uh, The Umbrella Academy. By the way, let me know if you watch that. I might do some character breakdowns on it, but find that work-life balance, all right? Like I work my butt off, but I also relax my butt off, right? Like when people like ask me like, Chris, how are you so like stress-free most of the time and things like that. And a lot of it is because I find that balance like Jenna and Julian do, and I'm able to spend time with the people who are, uh, I love the most and who love me the most. Now, let me tell you, let me tell you, one of the main reasons people love Jenna and Julian is their positive relationship. So I was thinking about doing a video um, like I did for Tristan on Valentine's Day and kind of breaking that down. And these next two topics are going to kind of go hand in hand and you'll understand why in a second. But they have a positive relationship. Like, listen, listen, like couples goals, that, that whole thing is like, meh, whatever. Like, I get it. I get couples goals. But like I said, if you want what they have, you got to do what they do. Okay, so like if you're in a relationship or hell, even if you're single, like look at what they're doing. Look at what a healthy relationship looks like. If you're like me, I grew up around a lot of unhealthy relationships and then I later got into a bunch of unhealthy relationships because I didn't know what a healthy relationship looked like. That's one reason why I personally love Jenna and Julian because as much as I talk about toxic relationships online and you know, in the public view and all that stuff, like I'm glad that there is a healthy relationship that is in front of so many uh, people, but that means jack squat unless you are willing to take that and do something with it. Analyze it, look at it like, like create a playbook around this stuff. I'm not telling you to be Jenna and Julian, but if you get down to the root, kind of like we get down to our root problems, look at the root of people's happiness and say, okay, why, why is their life going so much better than mine? Like that's something that used to keep me in my head a lot. I used to look at people and say, why are you so much happier than I am? Right? And that's when I realized like I had to find people who were happy, people who were doing much better than I was mentally, and said, okay, I need to do what they are doing. I might not like to do it, but I need to do it. And eventually it created positive habits. All right. So if you think Jenna and Julian have good couples goals, like look at it and see why. And I've talked about some of it. You know, they laugh together, they grow together, they get into, you know, little miniature fights and then they make up and they joke around and all that kind of stuff. But that goes into the next thing, the next thing that people said. A lot of people said that, you know, even though they, it looks like they have the perfect relationship and they probably have a really great relationship, is that they don't put their BS online. Like, yes, yes. Like, you guys have been around my channel long enough. You know me talking about, like, you know, unhealthy relationships online. Like, here's the thing. Every couple, every couple has problems. Jenna and Julian have problems. Tristan and I, we have problems. But guess what? This is not the place to air it out. 
all right? Like, unless it's like going to couples therapy and like growing together and it's a learning experience for everybody, like they keep it offline. And I wish, I wish some more YouTubers would learn from this. I wish other YouTubers would look at other YouTubers, kind of like what I'm having to do now that my channel is growing and I look at them and I say, okay, why are they doing better? Like, why are they doing better mentally than I am? You see what I'm saying? So we gotta look at that. And and this is for all of you too. Like if you wanna have this happy life, like maybe look at that. Like keep your crap off of Facebook. Keep your crap off of Twitter. You know what I mean? This is something that I'm working on. For those of you who saw the video I did with Thomas Halbert, I'm trying to work on it. It's not going perfectly yet, but I have shown a lot of restraint and I have seen some of the positive effects. But don't go airing your dirty laundry out there. Like I talked about it with a Jake Paul video, like vague booking or as the kids call it on Twitter, subtweeting, right? Don't put this vague stuff out there and like try to grab attention and get people to feel bad for you and stuff like that. Like keep that stuff where it belongs off and out of the public eye. You know what I mean? Like, like, let me, like, here's the golden rule for this, like f reverse roles. Do you like scrolling through social media and just seeing somebody talk about all their problems? No, now, if you know my channel, you know I'm all about, I am all about talking about your problems, but do it in a support group, do it in a place where it's designated for that. You see what I'm saying? Like, do it with your therapist. Do it with a loved one. Do it with a friend. Do it in the uh, Rewired Soul Facebook group or Discord server. That's where it belongs, all right? But the last and final reason why everybody loves Jenna Marbles and Julian Salamita is because they're real. I saw so, 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 so many comments just saying that they're real. They're authentic. And like, it's crazy to me because that shows me that I'm doing this thing right. You know what I mean? Like no matter what's coming at me, like I am doing YouTube the best I can because I'm staying true to myself. And this is something I want you guys to all, all learn from. Like how many times do we sacrifice our morals, our values, right? The things that we believe in just to hang out with certain people. Maybe it's hanging out with a certain group of friends, right? Maybe it's, you know, hanging out with people from work. You know, they, they talk about things that, you know, you don't agree with or you're not into that, but you do it for like um, that, that social hierarchy that we're all trying to climb up, right? Stay true to yourself. But here's the thing, you gotta discover who you are. Right? You gotta discover what your values are, all right? Like this is very, very important and that is the only way, that is the only way that if, if any of us are ever gonna succeed in life, we have to take those things and put the kung fu grip on them and hold true to ourselves. Now, this doesn't mean learn and grow, like a lot of people grow, a lot of people's beliefs change and all of that, but we gotta try to make sure that it's in this like kind of like upward trajectory, you know what I mean? When we're evolving and changing, we're becoming better people, right? Like there's a person who I was, you know, a decade ago in my addiction, and I, I held these beliefs true, but I have to sit down and analyze my beliefs and saying like, is this a good belief or is this a bad belief? Is this one helping me or is this one hurting me, right? But Jenna and Julian are very true to who they are. And, and this is something that I'm gonna be doing more videos like this. And I think you will find this to be the common denominator between some of the best YouTubers on the platform, all right? So what I want you to do to finish this video, let me know down in the comments below if you enjoyed this video and you would like me to kind of break it down some other YouTubers like this, who you aspire to be like, like let me know down in the comments because I'm gonna be making more videos whether you like it or not. So you might as well join in and give me some input. <laughs> But anyways, anyways, that's all I got for this video. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're new, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell because I make a ton of videos. And a huge, huge thank you to everybody supporting the channel over on Patreon. You are all amazing. And if you would like to get involved in our monthly Q&A, exclusive content, and all of that, click or tap on that Patreon icon right there. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time.